Breaking news on News Nation, $83.3 million. That's the number. A Manhattan jury has just ordered the former president of the United States, Donald Trump, to pay to the writer E. Jean Carroll for defaming her and the you know, number of social media posts uh, in public and news conferences and whether it was the campaign trail. And that is your number that is bigger than any we had ever heard being speculated about. $83.3 million includes $65 million in punitive damages. Nine-member jury. The news is just in uh, here in New York. Bring back legal analyst and trial attorney Misty Maris to talk more about this. And we have our, our panelists, Amisha Cross and Sir Michael Singleton with us as well. And uh, Elizabeth Vargas is joining me here in the studio. Get to Elizabeth in a moment, just ahead of Elizabeth Vargas reports at the top of the hour. Misty, you first. Reaction. Well, I'll tell you, when I heard that the jury had decided, I said it's going to be a tremendous astronomical number. So I'm not surprised to hear something like this. Look, it's broken down. E. Jean Carroll's getting almost all of the compensatory damages uh, that she asked for. And then this punitive award, that's what we talked about before, Connell. It's based on malice. The jury absolutely found that Donald Trump in was engaged in malice with the intent to injure. And that's why you're seeing punishment damages. And a lot of that relates back to his conduct, even after being found liable for defamation, continuing to perpetuate those mm -hmm. comments on social media. So uh, look, this is a huge jury award. It'll definitely be appealed. But just a note, oftentimes four times the compensatory award in punitives is sustained on appeal. Okay, so, but and deterrence, number. you were saying earlier, for those who weren't with us before this came out, Misty, deterrence was a big part of that and then why the number would be so large on the punitive side? Yeah, punitive damage, damages, it's a legal word for punishment. That's right. the reason for it. It's to punish. And that's why it requires that finding of malicious intent. All right, Amisha and Shermichael, I want to get your political.